Okay. I got my picture. Shoot. What is going on? Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> Whoops. Anyway, I got my head to get my picture of my... And what we're going to talk about today is... 10. Because another channel kind of mentioned it in briefing, you know. But I'm going to go over why it is a great investment. Red hot. Totally awesome. And if you want something besides precious metals, this is probably what you might need to think about getting into. Because it is on the rise. It's going to go higher. Uh, due to the chaos that's in the world right now. And that is 10. And these are 10 bars. And I got two of them. And I got them for a heck of a deal. Matter of fact, I could sell these for big time profit right now if I wanted to. But I'm going to keep it because I think it's going to go up more. Um, I know this looks like um, uh, Broke Stackers mode because I think it is. I think it's the same mode that he used that they used for these. And of course he's making a copper bracelet out of it. He cut it and then he's spinning it and he's going to bend it. Can I bend these? I don't want to break them. Anyway, here it is. And you say, ask yourself, well, okay, 10. And by the way, I'm, I'm doing this video. I'm going to release it later because I got a strike. And I can't do lies for a week. So I'm going to go ahead and do some videos. And I'm going to release them later. They won't do anything. Because my videos don't do anything. But. 10. It's used to plate steel cans. You know a lot of these like these big peaches and stuff you get. 10. Uh, soldering of steel and other metals. Electronics. Used with bronze and copper. Used in the glass industry, which I found that odd. And it's used on ships and boats. And I think it's like the bottom of the ships that they use it on. Um, there you go. And so you think, well, yeah, yeah, a whole lot. There's more uses than that. I'm just doing the main uses of it. And for the year, it's up 35% for the year. It's at $15.07 a pound. Uh, back in December, it got, gains were like down minus 5, and then it rose up to 35% to or a 40% increase since December. Um, let me see, April of 2022, it was up 721%. You can't go wrong with those kind of numbers, you know, <laughs> I mean, you know, let's face it. 721%. I can say gold hadn't gone up that. Silver hadn't gone up that. Um, matter of fact, I think silver is up like 30% for the year. I think that's pretty good numbers. He's always always giving silver a hard time. 30% increase in a year is pretty daggone good. Um, and uh, so there you go. So... It's a little bit down from its April amount of, 20, of 2022, but it's still way up. And even even in a year where it's, it, it's up 35%, that's a, good, that's a good return on your investment. Now, I like physical. Everybody knows I'm not a paper guy. Uh, if I was going to buy larger amounts of tin, I would have to go into the paper market. I'd have to do it. Uh, do I have room? I'm always going to make room for metals. They don't matter what it is. Copper, nickel, tin, lead. I'm going to have, I'm going to make the room for it. You know, I don't believe in this. The house ain't big enough or, like I said, probably I'll end up, what I'll end up doing is building another shed. And that shed will probably be nothing but copper, nickel, tin, aluminum. It's going to probably be all metals. Um, you know, it's not like you got to put this in a, uh, plastic holder or uh, you don't have to do that with, with base metal so um, I'm going to do it in a way that's whatever and still the metal content's going to be there so just something to consider I don't think that uh, CS I'll say he mentioned it briefly I don't believe he got in the numbers much he did say some of the things it was used for but the numbers are phenomenal and it's it's 
it's there's big time money to be made in it. I'm telling you, you should strongly consider it. You know, osmium that is a wouldn't hurt to buy one or two pieces just to have it. Uh, it's got a lot of potential. Um, you know, you you can probably say osmium is kind of like Bitcoin when it started out. Uh, no, not many people knew about it. People still, a lot of people still don't know about it, but more know today about it than they did then when it started. It's the same thing with osmium. It's got that. It's got great potential. Um, again, rhodium, great potential. Uh, if we got the thirty thousand once, it'll get there again. Matter of fact, I think it will surpass it because there's so many. There's so few mines that do rhodium that when one of the mines mines out, and it eventually will, it will go. And when it does, rhodium is going to skyrocket. So that's just another thing to consider. I think that my personal, I'm not buying it right now. I'm waiting. To, I'm waiting for it to really, really have a bad day and get real low, and then I'm going to buy a couple ounces of it. Um, palladium and platinum, I think they'll swing around opposites. I think palladium will go to where. I mean, platinum will go to where palladium was. Palladium will go. I'll be down there in the gutter, uh, kind of low, like pl uh, platinum was. I think they'll switch, and so that's just the potential there. So I'm getting platinum when I can. Um, and platinum's still a good price. Let me see to buy it. Uh, so I would say the buy metals right now. I think platinum. Maybe osmium. I mean, it's, it, that's that depends on the individual. But I definitely say platinum is a good buy. I think silver is still a buy. Uh, I'm going to get silver another way, so I can dodge the the premiums and all the extra fees. Um, Ten, great buy. Nickel, super buy. Even on, I think the percentage is up. Will be more with ten. I still think nickel is is probably the best price of any metal to buy right now. It's right around probably nine fifty a pound. Still super good price. Especially remember it got to fifty before they killed it. So if they didn't kill it, would it got to a hundred? Maybe. Would it have been a big drop off after? Probably. But I'm just saying, not a not a bad deal. Uh, copper, in my opinion, is too high right now. It's near its all-time high. I think it's at 470. It got back, I think, right at five, uh, and the all-time high I think was five dollars and seven cents. So, it's it's like gold. Copper and gold are pretty much the the uh, copper and the base metals, gold and the precious metals. It's too high for me to buy either one. If I get it, it's going to be by probably in a lot. And they probably didn't know it was gold. I, I think it might be. I buy it. I get it. That's how I want my gold right now. I, I, I'm not going to do the, the uh, with all the premiums and all the other uh, fees and amounts, I'm not going to get bullion right now. So, um, and pre-33 either. I mean, it's just too high. So, I'm not going to get that right now. So, I'm staying away. If I get gold by accident, great. Uh, gold jewelry and stuff. You know, I'm buying that because I can get it. I, it. Gold, probably looking more for the gold field, roll gold type. That's what I'm in. That's what I want right now because I can still get it for a decent price. Harder than it was, but still can probably still get that below spot. So I'm looking at that. Uh, silver, it's going to be, I think silver weighted right now. That, to me, that's my best buy because I kind of know what everything weighs from what, you know, from the size. And I'm still, but that's getting hard to buy too. I have not bought any. I mean, I was probably getting something silver weighted candlestick or whatever. I was getting, I was getting them off of eBay. Usually, it's a Goodwill store comes up, and it's like a real quick auction. And I've been, I was getting good deals on it. It's been hard to get any deals. I haven't gotten any, any of that for a couple months. So it's been harder to get. I still look on these auctions. Uh, I got a great chance on the local auctions because people they think it's no silver in there, and it is. If you get the right ones, it is some some at least an ounce of silver in those. So I look for those. Still looking. Uh, the gold, uh, not coins or bullion, but rounds. Well, would you say rounds even? Gold uh, medals. M M E D A L. 
those still you can every once in a while get for a pretty good deal. So I'm still looking for those. So you know, but if you if they have a local auction and those are on there with you know gold bullion or pre thirty three, they're going to go higher than what I want to get them for. So again, it depends on the length of the auction. Best case scenario, someone puts one up for three days, you're probably going to get it for a pretty good deal. And so I, I look for those. So anyway, that's what we're going. So that's a uh, platinum, silver, nickel, tin. I'm talking physical, not the paper. I'm just talking about physical, like what I try to do, physical. Those are all great buys right now. Uh, I think lead, it's still... I would buy it if you're going to buy bar, bars and you can get them at spot. <laughs> Definitely, if you can get them for a dollar, I'd do it all day long. If I got the opportunity for a dollar on lead bars, I would buy physical lead because I just think it's going to go. They say its first metal will probably go extinct. They got to have it for these EVs. Uh, they got to have it for car batteries. You're still going to have to have them for a while longer anyway. Uh, so I think that's a great deal. And like I said, I can sell them between three and five a piece to people right around here that want to make ammo. So it's still, that's a good buy. So lead is good. Plus the potential is great for lead. So that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking for lead, platinum, silver, gold uh, field, and road gold, tin. What else did I say? That's probably it. So I don't even know if I'm even going to buy any more osmium. I, I think I'm probably going to try to buy a bit during the year or a few more pieces. Probably the small pieces I can make, try to put in some earrings. And I'm probably going to do that. But other than that, I can't do the one ounce pieces and stuff. I mean, it's just way out of my league. So, you know, and I won't get lucky enough for a local auction to have it because nobody knows about it. And, of course, whatever comes up, I probably would get it for nothing because nobody knows what osmium is. And they don't know, they'll think it's uh, pot metal or something, even though it's shiny. They won't know, they'll say, what is that? Uh, they probably won't think it's real. So I probably would get a heck of a deal if it ever did, but I don't expect it to come up. I never, on the local auctions, I, I won't see that. You don't see rhodium. You don't see uh, platinum and palladium very often. Um, Ten. You, know, you don't see that a lot. Usually it's in something that's got tin in it. And I will bet on that. And uh, so you do see that occasionally that. You do see, I got these on an auction. So you do see it occasionally. You will see the lead bars come up. But you usually can't touch them. They usually go for 5 or $6 a piece for a pound. I mean, they go way over spot. Uh, copper bars, you can forget it. You're not going to get a good price on it. Nickel. There's an opportunity there that you might, I might be able to get it at spot or a little below spot, which is okay because I think it's a great price. So I would be interested in those. But you have to look, look, look. It's out there. I mean, I find stuff all the time. But you got to really look. I mean, pretty much what you got to do is go to these places and put in your search the different things you're looking for, and then let all the auctions come up, and you can see. Now some of them. The payment method is a problem, and I'm going, can't bid on it because what the way they want payment, I can't do. So sometimes I'm disqualified from trying to get it. But anyway, keep stack, keep packing because times we live in, consider 10. I'm telling you, even in paper form, you know, you got your other metals to cover you. This it's probably worth investing in. It's can only, I think it's only going to go up. So. I will see you all soon, <laughs> and I'll try not to get a strike, another one, and man, we'll see what happens. <laughs>